I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how to get more views with vidIQ. I'm gonna show you all the tools and the different features that I use to get more views, even if I'm starting a channel from zero. This video is not sponsored by vidIQ, but I've been using vidIQ for the last seven years now, and a lot of you guys have been asking questions. So here we are. How do you do that? Step one is you need to actually have vidIQ. It's a tool that integrates with your YouTube channel to give you a bunch of insights and help you do a bunch of cool things. So when you sign up, it's gonna ask to connect to your YouTube channel. Don't worry about this. I know it seems sus, but the AI needs it because it's actually gonna pull data from your YouTube channel to help give you the best, most custom recommendations possible. Now, once you sign up for vidIQ, it's also gonna ask you to download the vidIQ Chrome extension. And when you actually install it, it's gonna to look like this up in your browser and you can click on you get all these options here which we'll talk more about later now if you haven't installed vidIQ yet there is a link down below you can use it completely for free but if you're really serious about this stuff there is a more advanced paid version I'll leave a link down below to my page where you can get vidIQ for a whole month for just one dollar full premium version and you'll also be supporting this channel so I'd encourage you to check that out now when you actually go to vidIQ and open it up you're going to be faced with a page that looks like this but first we're gonna come across to the keyword tool. And something many of you want to know how to do is to get your videos to actually rank higher in search so you can get more views. Here's how you do that. Instead of creating a video and then keyword researching around that video, once it's created, you want to start by actually finding high demand, low supply, lots of people looking for that particular search term, but not many channels creating videos on that search term, and then create videos around those keywords. And how you do that is first, I want you to think about your niche, the rough market in which your channel exists and try to summarize it in as few words as possible. So for this channel you're watching right now, which is a YouTube education channel, that word might just be YouTube. I'm gonna use another example here. Let's say we're like a mid-journey tutorial channel. Mid-journey is like AI image generator for those who don't know. And my single word that encapsulates the mid-journey topic would probably just be well, mid-journey, duh. Now we call this very stripped back bare bones term your root keyword. That's gonna help us find video ideas that can get thousands of views even if you have zero subscribers. So let's come to this keyword tool and just paste in mid-journey. And it's gonna show us a page that looks incredibly overwhelming and nerdy like this, but we're gonna break it all down. So the first thing that it's gonna give you is an overall score. The greener the score, the better. Now mid-journey currently has a score of 74 and it is fairly green because almost 2.2 million people are searching for mid-journey on YouTube every single month. And yet, according to vidIQ, the competition, aka the amount of creators posting mid-journey videos is still relatively low. Now, a low competition for 2.2 million searches a month might still be too high for a small channel with zero subscribers to compete with. So for example, let's just go to YouTube and type in mid-journey. Now you could do this in incognito mode to make sure that your results are cleaner, but I can just see here, if we scroll through here, it's true that there aren't a huge amount of very, very large creators making journey videos relative to say other niches where many channels would have hundreds of thousands, if not millions of subscribers, but there's definitely plenty of creators making high quality mid journey videos. So that term is probably going to be way too broad for us to compete with as a small channel. Not to fear, we're going to use mid journey as our root keyword to find a slightly more niche keyword that is under mid journey. It's probably getting a whole lot less than 2.2 million searches per month, but is still going to be getting a lot more searches and views than your videos are probably currently getting. And to do that, we're going to come across to this tab here, matching terms. And this is going to show us all of the related keywords that have our root keyword in them. And there are two ways that you can sort through your matching terms. The first is you can sort by vidIQ's overall score, which can be useful when you're researching a keyword that is quite competitive. Now these scores in here aren't perfect to play any stretch, but they are an easy, quick and dirty way to narrow down some of the data. But as we can see here, we have a lot of green here, supposedly very good keywords. So instead of searching by overall, because I would have to go through all of these keywords and manually research them, which by the way, is probably a good idea, but it's gonna be super boring for you watching this. So what I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna sort by competition, lowest to highest. Now, if I go through here, we can see that this is looking a little bit better. Now, sure, our search volume here is much less, but 
our competition is much lower. So low, in fact, for some of these terms that vidIQ can't even give us a score. Now, I'm just going to start at the top here and work my way through these keywords. And what I'm looking for is an interesting keyword that I think I might be able to create a video around or to integrate within a video. Now, one that jumps out to me here is Mid Journey Modern Shield. I've seen some kind of cool Mid Journey Shield designs floating around the internet. And so it could be cool for us to create like a tutorial on the type of prompt to use to generate a cool modern Mid Journey Shield. So I'm going to bounce back to YouTube and I'm going to type in Mid Journey Modern Shield. And what we've just found here is pretty much the gold that we're looking for. As you can see, Mid Journey Modern Shield has around about 2,000 people a month searching for it. However, when I enter Mid Journey Modern Shield into YouTube, I get approximately zero videos showing up for Mid Journey Modern Shields of any description. YouTube's like, hey, there are people looking for this, but I don't have any videos on this. So I'm just going to show you some vaguely related YouTube short instead and hope that you click in there and then get lost in a scroll of death. So if we could create a Mid Journey Modern Shield tutorial video, assuming we do a good job of optimizing it, like I'll show you how to do in a second, chances are YouTube will have no choice but to show our video to roughly 2000 people per month. Not bad for a channel starting out from zero, but just because you create a Mid Journey Modern Shield video doesn't mean it's going to rank. So what I'm gonna do is show you how to optimize this video using another tool in vidIQ called AI Coach. And this is basically like ChatGPT, but specifically it's been trained on YouTube data. And we have two options here. We have basic and advanced. Basic is pretty much just the generic ChatGPT for YouTubers. Advanced actually accesses your channel data and bears it in mind when it's giving you answers. Now for this tutorial, I'm just gonna use the basic version of the AI coach. Reason being is that if I use the advanced version, it's probably gonna get a bit confused because my channel is about YouTube education. It's gonna get like mixed signals when I'm asking it to create video ideas about mid journey. But if you had a mid journey channel and you use the advanced section, you would probably get even better results. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy and paste the following prompt into this chat. You can just pause the video here and copy down this prompt. And here, when I say improve this tile to make it more clickable, I'm just going to freestyle the most basic version of the video idea that we just discovered in the keyword planner. So maybe something like how to generate a modern shield image in mid journey. Then what I'm gonna do is come down to this ladder section and I'm gonna import the specific keyword that we just discovered because we wanna make sure that the tiles it generates for us include that keyword phrase, which you might remember was Mid Journey Modern Shield. So I'm going to copy that, chuck that in here. I actually like two of these titles, so I'm going to combine them together. It's one of the benefits of generating multiple titles is that you can mix and match. I really like the start of this one, so I'm going to copy that and I'm going to just chuck that into my dummy video here. But I also like the end of this one, a step-by-step -step guide. So I'm going to grab that and chuck that in my video title as well. I think aside from the fact that I might just get rid of this image and get rid of the hyphen to make mid-journey actually make sense, this is a pretty strong strong YouTube title considering I generated it in like 9.4 seconds. I'm fast as yeah, boy. Next we need a description and descriptions are actually important because YouTube analyzes your description for keywords and helps your video rank. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back to my keyword tool here. I'm gonna click on this keyword. And the first thing I'm gonna do is find some keywords that I wanna make sure are included in my description. So Mid Journey Modern Shield makes sense, but Mid Journey Shield, I think that's good. I'll just shorten that a bit just so we might get a couple of extra search terms showing up. I'm gonna come across to matching terms. So we can see Mid Journey Shield obviously shows up. Mid Journey Modern Shield obviously shows up. So I'm just gonna copy these two keywords. We could also come into related keywords and grab some keywords from in here. Basically the difference between matching terms and related is matching terms will only show up keywords that include your root keyword that you've searched for up here. Related keywords will show keywords that don't include the root keyword, but that vidIQ thinks are pretty damn related to it. So for example, I actually like this mid journey AI tutorial, so I might copy this one. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the following prompt. Again, you can pause the video and copy it down. And I'm going to grab my YouTube title, chuck it in here. Then I'm going to grab those keywords keyword phrases that I just copied down and I'm going to paste them in here and hit enter. Now what it's generated here is actually not that great in my opinion because it's talking about generating a mid journey shield from the perspective of building your brand, which I guess technically shields were your brand back in the day. But since it's not the dark ages, we don't actually care about boosting medieval branding. We just want a cool shield. So I'm going to tell it 
rewrite the description to remove all references to growing a brand. Cool, so this has given us enough to work with. It's not great from an actual reading perspective, but what it does do is include a lot of the keywords we just told it to include, which is gonna help us rank higher in search. So I'm just gonna grab this, bring it over to our video description. Even though it's like pretty stuffed full of keywords, it's written in natural language, so we're not gonna get in trouble from YouTube. Now in here, I am gonna massage it just a little bit. I might get rid of that. I'm gonna get rid of the what are you waiting for bit. Let's just say that maybe our tutorial teaches them how to create a mid-journey shield that represents their personality, because that'd be kind of cool. So I'll just change it to that. I'm gonna change designer to seasoned prompt engineer, because that's probably a bit more relevant to mid-journey. And at this point, I'd probably post a video that has a description, something like that. Lastly, we have our tag section. So if you scroll down here, tags aren't that useful. YouTube says so themselves here. But if you're a very small channel that has very little data, my opinion is that it does play a very small impact in informing the YouTube algorithm what your video is about initially. Think about it. No one uses tags for common misspellings of their keywords. And if the tag section was completely useless, YouTube would have eliminated it. So I'd encourage you to just come across the keyword research tool that you've already done. Just go through the keywords that show up, grab some relevant ones, and then just chuck them in your tag section. I also usually like to chuck in my channel name in here. So channel name as a tag, and then the actual title of the video. And you can see I just freehanded a bunch of random search terms that are highly related to the topic of this video. It only took me a couple of seconds for all you wise guys in the comments being like, oh, tags don't matter. I think it's worthwhile doing. There's no harm in doing it. I need to interrupt this video to show you something real quick. No, this isn't an ad break. So throughout the process of the video you've been watching currently, I've been pasting my title and uh, revamp description, etc., into a dummy video. Now, I was not planning to do anything at all with that dummy video. That was just purely for the sake of the this example. But I recently just typed in Mid Journey Modern Shield on YouTube. And when I do that, look what video shows up number one. Yes, it is our dummy 22 second video that is completely unrelated to Mid Journey Modern Shields and has a horrendous custom thumbnail. Remember, this search term is getting 2000 views, uh, searches a month. Now, obviously my video has gone zero views because people look at it and they're like, that thumbnail has nothing to do <laughs> with what I I'm looking for and it's only 22 seconds long, so it can't be a Mid Journey Modern Shield tutorial video. But imagine what would happen if I had created this video and it actually was a mid journey mon shield video and it actually had a related thumbnail. I could be getting 2000 views a month all just from following the process you just saw in this video. If this doesn't convince you that, the, that this method can work, then I don't know what will. But at this point, you're probably all keyworded out and some of you bright cookies might be wondering, but Marcus, how come Mr. Beast, Airac, Ryan Trahan, they clearly don't do very much keyword research for their videos. Before Mr. Beast posted every country on earth fights for $250,000, I guarantee you the search volume for that term was a whopping zero. And that's because a lot of these big creators nowadays have a different strategy strategy. What we just went over was how to create searchable content. And you can get hundreds of thousands of views with that traffic source. But the biggest traffic source on YouTube is undeniably the YouTube homepage and the recommended section below or next to videos. And when it comes to this other way of getting views, keywords don't matter that much. So if the types of videos you're creating are the things people wouldn't know to search for until they saw the actual video, then this next tool is for you. Come across to the daily ideas tab. In here, every single day, vidIQ's AI is going to analyze tens of thousands, probably hundreds of thousands of different signals and give you a list of AI generated video ideas. And these ideas are going to be directly applicable to your channel and your niche because we linked our channels earlier. So for me, vidIQ is suggesting ideas like I tried YouTube automation for 30 days, results and channel reveal, two strategies that helped me grow from zero to a thousand subscribers, how to grab your audience's attention on YouTube and increase engagement, while almost quit YouTube, how I monetize my channel in 30 days. Now, obviously not every idea AI generates is gonna be a viral big hitter, but you watching this right now are probably interested in growing your YouTube channel. So you tell me, would you be interested in me creating a video that looks like one of these? If so, AI's kind of done its job. And why these AI ideas can be so much better than just say general chat GPT's ideas beyond the fact that they're connected to your YouTube channel is that when you actually click into these ideas, you'll see that vidIQ's actually researched a bunch of different videos 
on YouTube to come up with this particular video idea suggestion. So what I like to do is come in here every now and again when I'm struggling for inspiration, scroll through my personalized ideas list, and if I find anything that's interesting, I just hit the heart on it, and usually that's enough to get my creative juices flowing, but if it's not for some reason, I can come across to saved ideas, and in here, I'll get a list of all the ideas I've previously clicked the heart on. Usually I find that two or three ideas that have a really cool element to them, and then I can put those ideas together to come up with one like really banging idea. Now, if you're not getting the kind of ideas that you want, or you want to experiment with a new niche that you have no data in, you can come across to the custom ideas section here. And I could just enter mid journey tutorials. And then in here, it's still going to try and relate the idea back to your YouTube channel a bit, but it's injected the mid journey concept. And then you can take these ideas and literally just rip them or use some creative inspiration to make them even better. For example, I might take this, how to use mid journey to create seamless pattern design videos. And maybe I could do something like how to use mid journey to create seamless YouTube thumbnails, which is something that might apply well in my niche. Now, the last thing I want to show you with this tool is the dismiss button. This is helpful because as you come in here every day or however often it is for you, as you like and dismiss ideas, that's going to train the AI on what kind of ideas you like. And over time, it's going to gradually give you better and better ideas that resonate even more closely to the type of content you want to be posting on your channel. Now, the next thing I want to show you is we have to come back to the keyword section, but instead of now doing keyword research, we're going to come across to this new tab called rising keywords. Now, if you've ever watched more advanced trend research videos, you would have probably heard of the tool called Google Trends. And you can come into Google Trends and look at something like this. It's going to give you a list of all the breakout trends across Google. The problem is, in my opinion, usually this one's not that useful. And I think it's because Google actually moderates this section and only includes trends that it wants you to see. So they tend to be pretty vague and vanilla. But if we come back to rising keywords on vidIQ, not only is it going to reveal trends to us that are specifically just on YouTube, but it's also going to be a lot less curated and a bit messier. So for example, a top keyword here is neon gets jumped, which is the kind of thing Google Trends probably isn't going to show you. And what you want to do is basically scroll through here and try and look for topics that you might be able to create videos on or that you can integrate within your existing videos. An example of integrating a trending topic within a video is when I was smaller and I was creating like gaming funny moments videos, I once created a Donald Trump themed funny moments video where I just used a couple of Donald Trump memes purely because Donald Trump was a trending topic at the time. And that video went on to get five times as many views as my regular videos did, even though it was probably worse than my regular videos, purely because it incorporated a highly trending topic. Now, when it comes to looking for trends, I usually wouldn't look at trends that are this month. I would probably narrow them down by this week or today, because by the time you jump on a trend that's come up within the last month, chances are a lot of people have already jumped on it. But speaking of research, I want to show you one last tool that is incredibly boring, but it's one of my favorite tools in vidIQ. You want to come across to competitors here. Now, identifying trends in general across the web can be helpful, but most of the trends on the internet are going to be pretty useless for you as a creator. On the other hand, though, you do want to be aware of every single trend that's happening within your niche right now. And that's where keeping a close eye on your competitors can be really helpful. So in here, you can add competitors to this list. For example, I can type in this search bar vidIQ and they show up. I can just click on them, hit add competitor, and then they're going to add up, show up in this list. You can add your top 20 competitors. And when you do, you'll be able to see via this graph, which ones are generating the most views in the last 30 or 60 days, which ones are generating the most subscribers in the last 30 to 60 days, which ones are creating the most videos in the last 30 to 60 days, who's getting the most average daily views. And all of this data can be really useful because what you're looking for are the top 20% of your competitors who are really killing it. And then you want to go over to their channels and look at what topics are they covering? What thumbnails are they making? What are their titles? How do they intro their videos? How often are they posting? And try to take those principles or elements of those principles and apply them to your own channel. Because chances are, if all the top creators in your niche are doing something, there's a reason for that. And so while you do tend to need to be unique to stand out from your competitors, you also need a pretty decent base on which you can stand out from. And if you don't want to go to your competitors' channels individually and see what's working, you can scroll down on this tab and what you'll see is a list of all of your competitors' videos compiled into this one search bar. You can sort it by which ones are getting the most views. You can sort it by which ones are getting the most views per hour, which can be an interesting one to see which ones are exploding right now. You can sort it by the period to make it recent. And essentially, you just play around with this and see what videos and channels keep showing up. See if you can identify any patterns or 
topics across all the top performing videos. And again, take those concepts and principles and apply them to your own content because chances are they're working right now. That's why all the top channels in your niche are doing them. Now, as you can see, there are a bunch more tools on vidIQ, but the ones I covered today are the ones that I personally use the most frequently, get the most value from. Again, this video was not sponsored by vidIQ, but if you want to try these tools out in the premium versions, go down below. It's just $1 for a month. If you use it intentionally, it'll help you grow your channel and you'll be helping support my channel so I can make more videos for you like this. But if you're not ready to try vidIQ right now for some reason, check out the video on screen where I'm going to show you another tactic I use to make the YouTube algorithm love your videos even if you're a small YouTube channel. Check it out.